This device right here, ladies and gentlemen, is revolutionary. It can change your life and it can make creating beautiful thumbnails that look like you've spent a million dollars with a graphic designer a snap. That's what's coming up here on this video on Brian G. Johnson TV. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson! Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim and amplify your message so you can inspire action in others. And anything worthwhile online begins when other people take action on what you publish, whether it's a video, a blog post, a sales page, nothing happens until you inspire action. Now, here's what's up. One of the easiest ways to inspire people to view more of your videos is to create a powerful, engaging video thumbnail that gets that click, baby, click. And this device, this iPad, this iPhone, you can use your phone, your iPad to create tremendous, beautiful images that you can use for your thumbnails. I'm gonna jump on the screen share. I'm gonna show you how I do it on my iPad and how you can too. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna access photos and one of the best practices that I like to do that's really made my life easy and more powerful is, is to create libraries or albums of the photos based on traveling, where I'm at. Um, you can see I've got my brand assets here. These are all the logos and in, in the personal branding that's unique to my brand, which is great. And check out these pro photos. These are all photos from a photo shoot. Um, and don't think a photo shoot has to be expensive. You can see here, if I scroll down, uh, Sedona 2016, these were taken uh, by myself. And they're great photos that I can use for thumbnails to tell a story or so on. So that's one of the things you might want to start with is to create albums to archive your digital media assets. Now to actually create your thumbnail, you're going to want to first start out by using the app Avery. And we want to use Avery in order to uh, size the image perfectly. And what you want to use is a resolution of 16 by 9 or 1280 pixels by 720. First, we want to select the image we want to use. To do that, we'll select the photo icon in the le left upper hand corner, I'll select choose from library. And remember, I've got all my things cataloged, so it's really easy for me to find the image I want. I'm gonna access Pro Pictures 2016, and I'm gonna come and show you how I made this fun thumbnail not too long ago. It's the one that uh, features me with the goofy hair dryer, and I'm gonna select crop, because remember, what we're really trying to do with Avery is to get the perfectly sized image so it looks beautiful. And this image needs to be cropped twice because it's more a vertical image and we want a horizontal image. So I'm going to crop it once. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to select crop again. This time I'm going to select 12, uh, I'm sorry, 16 by 9. Okay, that looks really good. I want to move this over just a bit. And really what I'm trying to do is create a lot of space on the left. That's where I'm going to add my text. And this looks wonderful. I'll click Apply. And uh, we almost are ready to save. But before I move on, I'm going to click Frames, upper, or I'm sorry, the lower navigation near the right, Frames. And I'll select Original and then Bordy. And that selects and creates a beautiful black frame around my image. I'll click Apply and then Save. Done. Okay, so what we're doing is we're saving the image. The image is being saved to my photo roll. And I'm going to uh, click out of this and I'm going to open up a new app now. So I'm going to click out of Avery, go back to Meme Studio, and I'm going to select Photoshop Mix. Now, this is a nice app because it allows you to work with layers 
and it uh, makes it really easy to add a logo and a, a few different other images on top of images, and it's not like a Photoshop thing. Now, to get started, all you need to do is click on the plus. Notice it's located on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to select Camera Roll. So I select Camera Roll, and I select the most recent image, and there you go. Now notice right near the hair dryer is an image that's uh, outlined in a light blue. That's actually the layer or the photo that we're currently working with. I want to add another photo, which is we're going to basically put a black splat in the corner of my uh, thumbnail, and then over the splat, we're going to overlay my uh, logo, and we're going to use yellow. So black, yellow, it'll pop. In order to do that, I click on the plus right above the small outlined image. I click plus, and I scroll down to brand assets. Again, really makes it easy to organize your photos. There are, is my uh, album for brand assets. I'll select that. I'm going to select a splat. So here that comes. And now all I have to do is I can uh, size it based on pinching. I can twist it around, and I want to do that now. I'm going to add this right like so, and I'm going to make it just a bit bigger. That looks great, but I don't want it to be that big. That looks actually pretty good. Oops. Sometimes you're going to move the layer uh, that you don't want to move. In this case, it's the first layer. If that happens, notice there's an undo at the top level navigation on the left. I'll click that and it goes back and notice that the I've got two images by the hairdryer and the first image is highlighted. I want to click on the splat and now that's highlighted and now I can move it around and this looks about perfect. Okay, so next we want to add the G over the top. I'll select the plus again. I'll come to brand assets. I'll select my logo in the color of yellow. Now, it's great if you've got images that are, have a transparent background. As these are transparent, I'm going to resize this to fit kind of nicely in the corner. I'm going to drag it in. It needs to be a bit smaller. That looks fantastic. It doesn't need to be too perfect. That looks pretty good. And uh, great. Uh, I actually want to tweak the splat a bit. Excellent. Now what I've got is an image perfectly sized for a thumbnail, 1280 by 720 with a resolution of 16 by 9. And... I've got a border around the image. I've got my face in the image. These are all recommendations from YouTube. Uh, I want to save the image. To do that, use the navigation at the very top. It's the second icon on the uh, in the right corner, the up arrow. I'll click that. I'm going to save it to camera roll. The image is being saved. I click OK. I'm going to go to my camera roll. And indeed, my most uh, recent image is the one we just made. And you can see it's starting to come along a really beautiful image. And it's kind of quirky. It's fun. Best practices from YouTube. Now I'm going to use another app in order to lay over text. And I'm going to use the app Typorama, uh, my preferred editing way. But this app is so good. And the fonts are so great that uh, I want to go ahead and use it anyway. So I'm going to cancel out of this. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to uh, open the app. You're going to access your camera roll. I'll click on that now. I'll access camera roll again. And then I'll select my most recent image in the lower right-hand corner. I'll click that now. It pops into the frame. Notice that we can choose a crop size for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and more. 
and we have additional options here. That's nice because we can do some cropping. However, this app isn't as full featured with cropping, and that's why I've used Avery first in this tutorial. Now, I've already done all the cropping I need, so all I need to do is select Done in the upper right-hand corner. I'll do that now, and the text drops in, and notice we have text styles, we have text tools, filters, overlays, lots of stuff to work with. We also have colors, shadows we can add, opacity. I want some black text, so I'm gonna select the black uh, icon in the lower left-hand corner, and now I can uh, size the text by pinching in and out. I can align it by moving it around, and I misspelled, but no problem. There we go, go ahead, punk. And that's great, I wanna select done, and now it pops that in. And now notice I've got all these great different fonts, and I'm just clicking the fonts down below that I'm interested in. And I want something that looks kind of fun and bold, and also a bit quirky. So I'm gonna select comics and cartoons, and I'm gonna continue clicking until I get uh, what I want. And that's exactly what I want, something like this. However, um, I, I think I want punk to be even bigger and I want the go ahead to be bigger. So what I can do is I can come in and I can put the text on two lines, like so. I can select done again, continue anyway. Okay, that looks great. And uh, this is turning out to be a fun, engaging, thumbnail that's going to drive interest and clicks for sure. I'm going to click OK and share. I'm not done yet. I actually want to add uh, one more statement, two words, click on me or click this, something like that. And to do that, I can select reuse. Notice in the upper right-hand corner, reuse. I'll select that. It comes back in. It drops text again. I'm going to change the color of the text to red. Explanation point done. It's going to tell me your text is too short and I know what I'm doing. So I want to continue anyway. Okay, great. Now I like this font to the right, Rusty Sands. Select Rusty Sands. Thumbnail that really pops and works well to drive clicks, to drive views, to get more views, to get more subscribers on YouTube. And I'm going to select OK Share. And you'd think we'd be done. I'll select Other. I'll save to my images. And we're nearly done. We actually need to go back to that app I mentioned, the Adobe app, because the image was just saved as a PNG. And it's going to be too big for YouTube. So we need to save it as a JPEG. And that is the file format of the Adobe app. Let's do that now. Okay, so once again, I'm going to select Photoshop Mix. That's going to up, open up, and it takes about a second, just like that, and we're good to go. I'm going to select the plus in the left-hand side of the frame. I'm going to select Camera Roll. I'll click that, and you can see we've got our image at the very top, and man, that's a good thumbnail. It's going to drive some results. The text is big. It's only four words. I rarely go over four words. That's a, a tip I'd like to share with you is that keep your verbiage under four words because it allows you to really make the text big and it will stand out. All I need to do is click the save. Again, the save is the icon in the upper right hand corner with the arrow. I'll select that, select camera roll. And we are good to go. We've saved, and now we can upload straight to YouTube. Now, it's been really hard to get thumbnails onto your YouTube videos from a mobile device, whether it's your iPhone or whether it's your iPad. However, I've just hacked it, and I've got another video available that will show you how to easily upload your thumbnails straight from your phone or your iPad, I'll link to that video in the card as well. Now, if you're new to Brian G. Johnson TV and you haven't checked out my playlist, how to get more YouTube views, check that out now. I'll link to it in the YouTube card. 
And if you haven't subscribed, well, make sure to hit that red button now. I upload new videos weekly based on the strategies and tactics that I've used since 2003 to publish content that inspires action. I'll see you on the next video. Poof. Pixie dust.